This is Matt Nagy with the Wyoming Distance Learning Center, and this is my first video blog on using the available software um, to create uh, videos for the classroom. Um, I've been researching this for, I don't know, a week and a half now, and I'm rather disappointed, I must say. Um, the available stuff is not good, uh, at least for the free stuff. Uh, the fairly expensive stuff works pretty well, but I wanted to find some free software for folks out there. What I'm using right now is Jing to record this, but I'm going to use Jing to uh, show you some of the stuff and how poorly it works and my frustration with this. Um, when I started off doing this, the, the key or what I wanted to find was free software that would record just like this is, both you on video and your desktop. Uh, that works best for, uh, you know, interpersonal relationships, seeing my face, and for showing stuff on the computer. Well, as far as free goes, there's very little that works. The Macintosh, um, well, I shouldn't say that, even the Macintosh does not have good software for doing both. The best one out there that I've found is Jing that I'm using. It, it will record both you and the desktop. Um, the limitation is you can only do five minute videos. Uh, generally speaking, I'd say that's a good limitation, but um, it's a limitation nonetheless. You can swap between just like this. You can't record both actually at the same time. You have to swap between, which works fine. Um, I like it. You can start off with an introduction and then you can go to what you're doing on the computer. Right now I'm going to show you this program called vCool Video. vCool Video Capture. It's uh, You have to do a couple things. First you want to record the desktop. You don't want it to follow the cursor because notice how weird that is. You want to record the whole... Yeah, see it's already acting strangely. You can change it to record the desktop only. Um, but <laughs> right now it won't even give me that choice. So as you can see already, the one for the PC that will do video, put your video in the corner and the desktop is already failing. There we go. Okay, now it's popping up. There's full screen, so it'll stop doing that. Right now it's feeding back because I have this program open. If I make, minimize it, then you can see everything without the feedback loop. So this one records me, as you can see in the corner. Oh wait, actually I'm not doing it in the corner yet. You need to bring it up. You need to do a picture-in-picture. Picture, select a picture-in-picture picture and put you in it. Then you can drag yourself into the corner great and then hide the program okay so that works um, usually from my experience you get about three good ones and then the program will not allow you to do it anymore and you have to restart it so as you can imagine that's rather frustrating but it doesn't have a five minute limit so you can continue to do this problem being is it creates really large files and <clears throat> uploading large files is a pain. The other issue is it doesn't have a simple upload to say YouTube or Vimeo or email. It doesn't give you a straight out of the program option. That was the other thing I wanted. I wanted something that did both face and desktop and I wanted to be able to export it directly from the program to the various video serving um, sites. So this one doesn't do that. You get a big old fat file that you can upload to YouTube and Vimeo and that's fine but you're probably going to have to keep it pretty limited anyways or it's going to be too heavy. So this one is vCool Video Capture Software. It's the only one on the PC that's, that I've found and if there's some out there, let me know. Please comment and let me know. That will allow you to do both. Um, the other issue with it is then you have to pop, as far as I can tell, I have been searching and I'm fairly good at this, you have to bring it back up in order to stop the recording process. You can't just stop it. So clunky, uh, glitchy, it crashes, but if you can get it to work consistently I think it would be a good program. It does have a non-free version too. 